Hi everyone, Jim from STEM Accountants here. Just put together a video to help explain the basics of corporation tax. Hope you find it useful. Corporation tax. Um, it's a tax that affects obviously a lot of small businesses and a lot of small companies. Um, so it's really important that people understand kind of the implications and how it's calculated. So corporation tax is paid by companies and corporations, limited companies, etc. Um, not by individuals, sole traders, partnerships. So it's only going to apply to those actually those recognised legal entities, that's all. So corporation tax is actually based on your taxable profits. Now, taxable profits aren't necessarily the same as what the net profit might be on your accounts. So it's important to be aware of what actually qualifies for corporation tax relief and what doesn't. So you may have on your accounts, you might have a net profit before tax of, let's say, £80,000. And then you have a thing called add backs. So these are expenses within your profit and loss that don't qualify for corporation tax relief. Things such as depreciation and entertaining, and you don't get corporation tax relief on, on that expenditure. So again, let's put £10,000 in there. And then we have taxable capital allowances, sorry, where expenses on pieces of equipment or motor vehicles, etc., um, have their own separate calculation for corporation tax relief. You might be entitled to 100% of it, maybe only 18%, but that's a separate calculation for a separate video. But let's say you've bought a brand new van, 100% allowable, and you've spent £20,000 on that. So that will also come off your net profit, but won't necessarily show in your P&L on your account. So important to know the distinction. So in this example, we've got a taxable profit of £70,000. So there's three rates of corporation tax. We've got a 19%, which is kind of the lower, lower earnings rate. We've got a marginal rate of 26.5%, which this video will kind of roll around. And then we've got a basic rate of 25%. And they all have different thresholds as to when they apply. So it's this marginal rate I want to concentrate on. So the reason we have a marginal rate is purely because as the company or corporation will earn more, their average rate of corporation tax will increase. So just to demonstrate this, if you earn a taxable profit of £50,000, that would imply a tax of 9500 And then for the next threshold, let's max that out at £200,000, you're going to pay 26.5% on. And that would give you tax of 53000 So in total, if you had £250,000 worth of profit, you'd be looking at a £62,500 tax bill. And so if we put 250,000 in this little calculator, you'll see that 250,000 at 25% also equals 62,500. So that's how it, it gets calculated on this marginal rate as the average rate of corporation tax increases. So just on the, the example above, so we're gonna breeze through the basic threshold of 50,000. So again, that's gonna have tax of nine and a half. And then we're gonna have 20,000 pound after that. So. As you can see, the despite the profit being less than half of it at the base rate, it's more than half the amount of tax. So it's really important to understand where your taxable profits lie, especially as you get towards the year end. So it's definitely a conversation you want to be looking at have with an accountant regarding where your taxable profit is. Because if you're over 50,000, getting close to 50,000, it's good to know that if you, let's say you had some expenditure you was going to incur a few months down the line, it might be worth bringing that forward to avoid this higher rate of tax. Um, you can also look at other bits, such as obviously we've just, I've mentioned regarding vehicles. Um, you might also look at you know pension contributions um, if you're a director to your, to your own personal pension pot, and just to drive down that profit as that does qualify for corporation tax relief. As well, I definitely recommend having a conversation with your accountant as soon as possible once the accounting period ends, because corporation tax is due nine months and one day after the end of the accounting period. So. The sooner you get your accounts in, the sooner your corporation tax is calculated, and then the sooner you'll know what that amount equates to. And it's going to give you a lot more time to then plan for that payment. So definitely something to get your head around and keep on top of. Nobody wants to find out a few days beforehand, you know, oh, you've got this big corporation tax bill to pay that you maybe wasn't prepared for. So yeah, definitely make sure you're getting value out your accountant in regards to this and make sure you're understanding what is liable for corporation tax relief and what isn't, as it can make a big difference. And ultimately, if you are playing around with that threshold, you know, you, you really want to avoid that 26.5%. So hope that's been useful. Hope, hopefully those that have stayed till the end have kind of learned a little bit. Um, so yeah, hopefully catch you next time. Cheers.